Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the different ways that I think Sam Levinson is misusing his character's identities in Euphoria and his abuse of nudity in a show set in high school. So starting with the nudity, I'm asking you, do you think there's excessive nudity in the show? Because I Personally, for me, there's too much. Personally, for me, it's a lot, and I know people have different tastes, but I just think it's strange for a show that's set in high school to have this much nudity and like adult activity, adult content in it. It's a lot, and it's almost like Sam Levinson is literally just doing it for the shock factor. In addition to, he's got some weird obsessions with Cassie's character, for sure, because she never has clothes on. She never has clothes on. I would like somebody to watch it again and check how long she has screen time where she's wearing clothes versus how long she's completely naked or half naked or topless. Like, I swear this entire season, she's just naked and it's not that I'm a prude it's when when directors make choices like nudity specifically when the character who is the most nude most of the time happens to be the most stereotypically attractive as far as American European beauty standards go Cassie's character, Sydney Sweeney, whatever, is, you know, very American girl, blonde hair, big boobs, small arms, small frame, big eyes, big lips, like, we get it. And she's the one who's the most naked by design, right? So when directors make certain characters nude, a lot of the time, you have to ask, like, what is the intention here? Like, what what are you getting at? Why, why specifically that? And then I know like, I know people were talking about like Zendaya. <laughs> Zendaya is not nude at all because she like must have signed a contract against that or something. But I don't know. I just feel like the choices for nudity are pretty excessive. Like I don't, it makes me uncomfortable to watch something that is set in high school and have to constantly see nudity and adult activity constantly it makes me uncomfortable because it makes us feel like we're seeing something we're not supposed to see and it's gross and it encourages the fetishization of young women and I think it's a little nasty in my personal opinion. Now I have my own problems with Sam Levinson and I've had them since Malcolm and Marie. I made a video about Malcolm Marie and I don't know if I talked about this in that but I have a problem with the way he uses black characters to kind of tell a white man's story. And I think he, which brings me to my point of in Euphoria, I also think he does this where he misuses his character's identities. I saw on TikTok today, Barbie Ferreira and Sam Levinson had like a spat on set, I guess. And it ended with Barbie like walking out and it had something to do with her, her character and what he wanted her character to do. And she basically saw it going a different way and must have, I don't know, felt offended by whatever he was suggesting. Now, I wasn't there, but me being someone who has been in a bigger body, like my, I've been different sizes throughout my life. But if you don't know, I used to weigh a lot more than this. So as somebody who has been in a bigger body, I can imagine what that conversation is or was if it ended with her storming out. Obviously, I don't know the specifics, but I can probably guess the tone with a decent accuracy. I've also been following Barbie for forever. Like I followed her way before Euphoria. When Euphoria came out, I was like, oh my God, Barbie's in that. Like I already knew who she was from time. So the fact that he upset her, I, I just know that he is fat phobic, right? And I'm not saying that he said something fat phobic, but how he's drawn her character, and you can already start to see that in this season, it's very typical, 
like, oh, sad fat girl hates herself, has a hard time falling in love because she hates herself. It's like so typical and disappointing. And people were also talking on TikTok about how she's like, of course, she's the one who's who's the cam girl and like dresses in, you know, sh words with shirts with words on them and things that could be conceived as more tacky. Like, I see why people are frustrated. And I am also I also am disappointed in where her character has gone. You also are not seeing her very much this season, because apparently because of the fight, she's been a lot of her lines have been cut out. And I can just imagine that conversation having something to do with her doing something very like stereotypical fat girl struggle narrative. And she probably was like, no, F you, I'm not doing that. And he was like, oh, the vision. You don't see my vision as a white man. This is how I envision your struggle to be like. And she was probably like, that's not close to a fat woman's experience. And he probably gaslit her and talked over her and she left. I just feel like some variation of that probably happened. I don't think it's hard to guess. I'm worried that in a few years, he's there's gonna be some scandal and everyone's gonna cancel him and everyone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, we should have known. I wish we caught the signs sooner. I think these are the signs. I don't like him. Always be wary of a white man who seems to have found a way to make diverse people work to his benefit. Always be wary of that is what I would say. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Kira Bria. Subscribe to my Patreon. I'll link it down below. I posted a new essay today. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.